Today, let's talk about the golden era, the time of Arnold Schwarzenegger, and discuss what their diet was like back then. But before we dive in, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The diet plans from the golden era were quite different from those of today, and they were actually quite unique. Back then, their diets involved low carbs, but high fats and high proteins. If you look at bodybuilders like Ronnie Coleman now, you'll see they consume a lot of carbs, probably around thousands of grams every day. However, if you compare this to the bodybuilders of the golden era, you'll notice their diets didn't include even half as many carbs as bodybuilders consume now. Sure, you might have seen Arnold Schwarzenegger or others eating oatmeal or potatoes occasionally, but their diet was relatively low in carbs compared to today's bodybuilders. Instead, they relied heavily on fats and protein. You could even say their diets resembled the keto diet we hear about today. They consumed a lot of beef especially beef patties. The diet included an average of four kilos of red meat a day, rice, beans, and lentils. That's it. Serge, for instance, consumed around 800 grams of protein a day. Sometimes even their breakfast included a beef patty with eggs. And that reminds me, eggs were extremely popular as well. Pretty much all golden era bodybuilders consumed a number of eggs throughout the day. It could be whole eggs, not just egg whites like nowadays, omelets, or even cheese omelets, but they made sure to consume a lot of eggs. Besides beef and eggs, bacon was also quite common in the mornings, but even more popular than that was cheese. Many of their meals included different types of cheese, mainly cottage cheese, which is a slow digestion protein source. Nowadays, when you think of bodybuilding, you probably think of rice or sweet potatoes as diet staples. But as I mentioned, that wasn't the case during the golden era. They didn't consume a lot of vegetables either. You wouldn't see bodybuilders of the golden era munching on broccoli, carrots, or green beans, and fruits weren't a huge part of their diet either. You might see them eating fruits occasionally, but not as a significant part of their diet. Ultimately, animal meats were their primary source of nutrition, especially beef. Chicken, turkey, and tuna were also a big part of their diet, but mostly it was beef and lots of beef steaks. Fish wasn't a big part of their diet either. You probably wouldn't have seen them eat salmon or sushi, or if they did, it was barely. Beef, eggs, cheese, cottage cheese, and sometimes fruit salads were their main food sources. Now, you might be wondering about protein shakes. Well, in the golden era, protein shakes weren't very popular simply because there were few choices. They were really expensive and tasted pretty bad. No surprise there, right? Whey protein was actually available. Believe it or not, whey protein has been available since the early 30s, but it was not a popular supplement and wasn't even commercially available in the 70s because it tasted bad and looked bad. So with a diet like that, how did they manage to have such nice physiques? That's simply because of their training. You know how hard today's bodybuilders train, right? Well, double it. That's how much time the golden era bodybuilders spent on their training. They trained in the mornings and also in the evenings. These weren't light training sessions. Both sessions were hard and intense. So of course, they were burning a lot more calories and building a lot more muscle. If you compare the diet plans of the golden era to now, you'll see a lot of differences. You'll see a lot more carbs now, but because of that, You'll also notice how different the physiques are. Bodybuilders today look a lot bigger and more bloated with bubble gut compared to those from the golden era. Most people believe it's simply because of different steroids and different dosages. Yes, that's one reason, but that's not all there is to it. The diets with high protein, low carbs, and the hard training made a huge difference, believe it or not. So let me know what you think about the diet plan of the golden era compared to now. Do you think the diet made a huge difference? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that, we come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. I'll see you next time.